name is Vanessa Ford. Um, I work for the BC Ministry of Forest and Range. I'm the research climatologist for the Northern Interior Forest Region. The mountain pine beetle um, first came into this area in the summer of 2006 and right now it looks that uh, about 80% of the trees in this area were attacked. We are concerned because it has affected such a large area of the province that this could be a major concern for BC's carbon balance as a whole. Well, just very basically, forests are important to carbon balance just because they are taking atmospheric carbon from the atmosphere and storing it in the forests, in the trees, in the soil. They are potential stores of carbon for, for quite some time. Once those forests die and the trees fall over and start to decay, they'll release that carbon back into the atmosphere. Well, generally, I think the concern has to do with the mortality caused from the mountain pine beetle epidemic to these forests will, in theory, not allow the trees to take up atmospheric carbon anymore. And as they die, there's a potential for that carbon to be released back into the atmosphere. Well, the changes that occurred in the climate to increase the susceptibility of the mountain pine beetle attack were that we've had a significant change in warmer winters over the past decade or so. So we're not getting those really cold uh, outbreaks of Arctic air that generally we get in this area of the province that bring minus 40 temperatures and uh, temperatures about that range we know would kill the mountain pine beetle. So this tower was um, installed by the University of British Columbia's Department of Biometeorology and what it's generally measuring is changes in carbon fluxes. So it has very basic climate data that it's collecting, so wind speed, uh, temperature, relative humidity, precipitation. So we're taking light measurements at this site here and then a few other sites that are affected by the mountain pine beetle within the central interior. Just track the changes through time on how much the canopy will open and then make estimates of uh, what that changes is for light reaching the forest floor. And that information can be potentially used to run models of regeneration. So with increasing light, you might expect an increased rate of, of regeneration from your understory trees. Mm -hmm.